Hello and welcome to another Lens Studio tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how you can add particles and make sparkle effects like this on Lens Studio. All the resources that you need in order to make this lens will also be linked down below. And yeah, let's create. Here's how you can use particles in your lenses in Lens Studio. First, to add particles, go to Objects, Add New Object, and search for Particles. This will add a GPU particle preset into your Objects panel and it will add a particle folder in your resources. Here, in the Inspector panel, you can see that a material is added to this particle system called the particle emitter material. To make changes to our particles, we need to make changes here. To find this, go to particles in resources and you can find it here. Here, you can see that there are parameters for our particle system. I'm going to increase this as this is going to be where we make changes to our particles. First, I'm going to change the lifetime minimum and maximum. What this does is it tells us how long a particle will be there on our screen. I'm going to make this with a minimum of 0.3 and a maximum of 0.6. Next, I'm going to increase the number of particles from 100 to 1000. Next, I'm going to add an initial location and change this to 0. 150 and 0 and add an initial sphere spawn with 500, 300 and 500. You can see that our particles are now very small. This is what we would want. You can change the size of this later on. Next, what we need to do is add a texture to our particles. I'm going to link this down below. What this is, is it's a flip book. A flip book has multiple textures, but inside a single image. So it'll have multiple different kinds of these sparkles, which I can use for my lens. So I'm going to add this into my resources, then add this into my texture. Then I'm going to check my flip book and because my picture had two rows and two columns, that's what I'm going to add here as well. Two and two. I'm going to keep the remaining as is. You can also change the color of this and you can change uh, continuously change this color. But I'm not going to do any of that right now. I'm going to change my dissolving speed to 0 0.10. Next thing that I'm going to change is my velocity. I'm going to change the minimum velocity or the speed to 10, 10 and 10. And I'm going to change the maximum velocity to minus 10, minus 10 and minus 10. You can make changes as you would like and experiment with this. Next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to keep my rotation at zero and keep all of this at zero because I don't want my image to move around. Lastly, I'm going to change the size because the size of my sparkles are not that much. So I'm going to make this two and two. So now you can see that it's a little more visible. And I'm going to change the size end to 2 as well. And I'm going to enable size random so that it's not all the same size. I'm going to change a couple of things here. Make this 4 and 4 so that it's a lot bigger now. Next is change the size start maximum to 6 and 6 going to change the size end to 0 and 0 and size end maximum to 
टू यू कैन ऑल्सो एड ग्रेविटी टू दिस बट आई एम गोन टू कीप दिस दिस इज राइट नाउ एट पॉइंट नाइन पॉइंट एट जीरो विच इज द ग्रेविटी ऑफ अर्थ बट आई एम गोन कीप दिस एट जीरो बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट ग्रेविटी टू प्ले वेन विथ माई पार्टिकल्स दिस इज हाउ यू कैन एड पार्टिकल्स टू येंसेज इन लेंस स्टूडियो एंड मेक द स्पार्किल इफेक्ट If you like the tutorial, click here to find more such tutorials. You can also subscribe to me and press that bell icon to never miss another tutorial.